Hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. Can you say hey? Can you say hey y'all? So today, Mama actually just pulled up. It is the weekend, and I'm thinking that we're going to make a huge change. Um, and that huge change is going to be my beloved collage wall. If you are new here and you have not seen me do my collage wall, I have redone it multiple times, but pretty much the entire time that we've owned this home, um, it has been a collage wall. It has just grew and the things have changed that's on it. So yeah, I have gotten over the whole collage wall thing. I've gotten over the whole collage wall thing and I wanted something, no ma'am, I wanted something more simple, but I also wanted to make a huge impact. Um, so I'm excited to share what I ended up going with. Hopefully it goes well and it looks right and it's not too much or it doesn't overpower the room. I don't know, but it is going to make a big impact, but it's more simple if that makes any sense. So also, um, just in case you did not know, we have a little wild monkey living in the house. <coughs> And her name is Mila. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go shopping and do some different things today. And I just wanted to just compile a little vlog for y'all. Um, and also, of course, show me redoing the wall. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Probably when we come back home. But I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on in today's vlog. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Came to Burke's. Today's their grand opening. And the line, y'all. So cashiers over there the line goes all the way to where that woman's standing right there wait over there <laughs> that is crazy that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i don't know if we're going to buy anything just because of the the crazy line that is ridiculous well the line there was a line in ross too I don't know. <laughs> there was a line in Ross too, so I don't know. Guys, I've done a really sorry job of vlogging today. You ever realize how hard it is to keep up with a youngin, a camera, and a mask? <laughs> it's nearly impossible. I always have my mask hanging on my arm. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, when you're out and about, I'm trying to remember where I got everything, and then by the time I get in there, my camera's in the bottom of my diaper bag. And I'm like the devil if I'm going to try to get that done out. So sometimes I pull my phone out, which is what you've seen from Burks. Uh, Y'all, we didn't even, we didn't get nothing in Burks because <laughs> the deadline was so crazy. So let me tell you what I did. I can tell you because by the time this goes up, <coughs> what is it, my you'll be got, got it. Yeah, probably one of them limp balls off that darn mask. Choked me to darn death. The other day when I went in there, Burks invited me to go um, shop um, because I'm working with them over on Instagram and regardless I would have went anyway because we are actual Burks shoppers we love Burks one thing about me is I'm very picky when it comes to like brands and companies that I work with um, but I was super excited when, when um, Burks had reached out about working together again I worked with them a few years ago for Christmas couple years few years I don't even know how long ago it was <clears throat> but I think it was two yeah it was a it was a little while ago and um loved working with them they were really easy to work with they always have nice stuff they always have really nice stuff and the prices are really good it's mm -hmm. like a Ross or a TJ Maxx or Marshalls it's more like a Ross because I think Ross is cheaper than TJ Maxx so it's more like a Ross but I will say we went into the Ross the new Ross that they have, and it made me a little claustrophobic. It was just too small. There it was, was very, there was a lot of stuff in a small place. Yeah. I love a Ross, but that one just was not, maybe if there weren't as many people, because this one yeah. woman just walked upon us as if we weren't even standing yeah. there. And then another one stood there at the close where you couldn't even look. She that was, was a, in Burks. Oh. She honey, know, this woman literally <laughs> put her hand up on the bar close blocking us from looking at she weren't even looking at them she was looking at these but put her hand and i said and i'm standing right there i was literally making up a song as we were standing there about hitting her with the stroller and i know that i know that i weren't all that quiet when i was making up that song it's like she was determined she was not moving. she was not going to move and i said that's half a 
Mila goes down for hopefully a nap, even though she is, she's bur no, you ain't got to help me. She's barely holding on back there. It's about she's 30 minutes, and I can see. I'm still holding on. It's about 30 minutes past her normal time. She goes to lay down. I can shut my eyes and sleep. <laughs> but she's looking beautiful back there. If you stop talking to me. Oh, she can sleep through the talking, honey. Hey, she's looking over there. She is just zoned slip. See, she, <laughs> she can hear the roaring of the air conditioner kind of sounds like her sound machine. I do have a sound machine in here, but I want her to nap at home and not really in the truck. She'll get a more solid nap if she naps at home. Mila! Mila! Honey, what did y'all order? Daddy! There you go, <laughs> Let me get a 16 ounce Noel. Yep, Noel. Cold or cold? Cold. Ice or blended? Yes. Blended. <laughs> and then let me get a whipped cream? No. No. <laughs> Good. What all this is? $10. Uh, and then let me get a over ice absolute magic no whipped cream. What's 16 ounces. Is that absolute magic? Yes. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. What's we gonna listen to on the way home? What you wanna listen to on the way home? Uh, what? What's that? Thank you, you too. I love these people. They're my people. They might not know it. That one's probably Boy, Burger Strong. Long straws, don't they? I like a long straw. Then you know I watch it every week. It did not come on this week. Wonder why? I don't know, Excuse but the debate on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> It'll be on next week. <laughs> I don't know, Excuse but. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't know it was a, it was a debate on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you can talk through it like it was nothing. <laughs> oh god, oh, Jesus. That was so much Mila's face. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but there is a duet. There's a couple Ooh. on there this year. And I'm pretty sure it's Trisha Yearwood and Garth Brooks. And if it is not, I will be shocked. I don't have I don't have another clue who it could be gotta be them. The clues point towards them and their voices. I don't know too many men that can sing like Garth, you know what I mean? Like well, he Garth's has a, got a distinctive voice. I think it's him. Have you heard him? Have you heard him I sing? I heard him one time. I'll have to find a video yeah, of no, him and let you hear you him. you know what he sounds like, but you're gonna have to delete that. <laughs> I ain't. I'm gonna leave it in there. What if that's a debate? <laughs> <laughs> Mila is rolling her eyes as hard as she can. <laughs>
our new pictures, I'm gonna be using these command strip. These are the, like the Velcro strip things. Um, technically, I don't need this size. These are um, the up to 16 pound ones. So I didn't really need these because these aren't are not 16 pounds and I'm gonna use two of them so they shouldn't budge. I've never used these before though, so I need to know exactly. That's one thing. Um I like using like thumbtacks because I can just sort of move them because you can't even see all the thumbtack holes on the wall, they're teeny tiny, and I can just move it everywhere. So that's what everything was up here with were thumbtacks. I gotta be more precise with my placement on these. So, let me show you. I love it. So I got four different images. They were on sale when I got them. These are from Small Woods, Small Wood Home, whatever. They were on sale when I got them and they're normally like 200 and some dollars each, but I got all four for $200 because they were like a fall sale. I don't know if they always have sales. I don't know, it's my first time ordering from them, but the quality is, uh amazing it is a wooden frame and they have two different stains so this is the almond which is like a lighter wood stain and then the other one was more like a deeper darker like sort of espresso stain but because this wall is so dark i didn't want to go with that i wanted it to be something that would contrast and you could see it but i did want to do the black and white so all of them are black and white because i didn't want them to be competing if we had um, recent like family pictures that we would have taken all at the, like the same day that all had the same color tone in them I would have done that but because I'm using pictures from four different times I just went ahead and made them all black and white so I got two of Mila and I got two of all three of us together so I'm gonna start with youngest to oldest picture going from this way and before I took everything down the other day well before I ordered anything I measured and seen about how many I was going to need because this is this is the extra large size and you can see they're really big it's just about as big as me just just, just a little more space um, and I think it's like a 44 by 22 so I measured my wall and I had about eight feet of wall decorated hold it and let me see about how far they're not heavy so okay move over to the right don't scrape it across the wall when you do it. There we go. <laughs> They're good for something. They're good for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's feeding on. So we'll do eight feet from there. Alright. Oh, Alright, guys. I know she's been doing that. They're all done! Alright! Yeah! Millie's up for her nap. I think they look so good. So let me explain a little bit of the method to my madness. So I measured how far I wanted it from the ceiling. So I wanted five and a half on the top and bottom. And then I took that into account and I did nine inches from the top of the frame and I stuck the command strip thing, which then was 14 and a half inches Here. from the top of the ceiling. So I measured 14 and a half from the ceiling figured out how far over I wanted it to be and I placed the other command strip there. Yeah. Then when it came to placing the other one I was having an issue measuring over because the pictures are not exactly 22 inches apart. So what I ended up doing is I placed the other one, put it up and then I would use a pencil oh, because I already have the command strip on the back of the picture. I would press it where it needed to be, make sure it was level and I would use a pencil to mark the side of where the one that would go on the wall what it would line up to and a little line across the top so I knew where to line it up. That, I learned that about two pictures in. So that ended up being the fastest route to the point that I pretty much got the last one up by myself yep. once I got into a rhythm of it and figured out my method. So I would highly recommend these command strips. Like I said, I've never used them before. We'll see, we'll see how well they hold up, but the pictures are flat to the wall. They went up really easy. At first I was a little like, how in the devil am I gonna do this? But Turns out pretty good, and I think they look they look fantastic you in got? here. You want this? Here. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that code? 
to words how excited I am that the bed is back over here and I can open the windows in our bedroom. <laughs> I have completely and totally missed the natural light in this bedroom. These windows give the best light. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do today. We're all dressed. I want to show you Mila's little outfit. It's like ha it's half quarters, half Walmart. It's so cute. I just sort of put it together this morning. And then I have on one of my new American Eagle um, soft and sexy shirts they're my absolute favorite like basic tees to wear because of the fabric they're super breathable <laughs> breathable <laughs> breathable they're um, breastfeeding friendly because they're you know stretchy um, and I, don't know, I just really like them they're oversized for sure so I'm a typical medium but I go down to a small uh, I will link down below my favorite shirts from them and I'm also very proud this morning, because let me show you. I finally decided to be brave and put on a pair of pre-Mila jeans. Um, I have not put on any of, I don't think I've worn these since before I found out I was pregnant and they fit perfectly this morning. These are Abercrombie & Fitch and if you know anything about them, which I do think they recently changed up their sizing, but they only go up to a 14. Um, if you've tried their new curvy jeans, curvy love or whatever they're called, comment down below and let me know because I'm kind of considering trying them out. Um, but that was my only complaint with them is that they went up. So I literally would wear like the biggest size because their jeans are their jeans are cut small. So I would have to go up to a 14 um, in most of the jeans because I'm a typical um, 12. So I'd have to go up to a 14. But these are the 14s from them. And they fit me really good before I got pregnant. And then, of course, not during pregnancy. But I haven't worn them um, any postpartum. You is so cute! I wonder if we... I should... No, I didn't be too. Mm -hmm. What Cody say? She like... Check her out! Check her out! <laughs> <laughs> so the little, um... Corduroy... What's what it was? Dress is from Walmart. It's the... Wonder Nation brand. They had a few different ones and they also have a leopard print one which we got that but we got an 18 month. This is a 12 month. Wonder Nation is cut a little small. Um, and you can see she's going to wear this today and that's probably it. And then the little shirt came in a pack of about four or five different prints. Can't really see it all that well. Um, but I think it's very appropriate for fall because it's still hot here. The high is going to be 82. I checked it the iron weather. Um, so, so she still needs short sleeves. Um, but this is the one that buttons on the butt, and she's doing this thing now, y'all, where she does, <laughs> and, and then, then she loses, and then loses her breath. But it still snaps on the butt. I did get a 12 month in that. She'll have room. She'll be able to wear those for the rest of the year, okay. um, maybe. And um, you can always layer them with little cardigans and jackets and stuff. Uh, so I'll link those, but I probably won't be able to link this. I have to go in the store. And then the little bow came from Walmart too. If y'all haven't seen the Wonder Nation little dollar bows. They're about, what would you say, two and a half, almost three inches wide. Um, it's the perfect size right now for her. Mm -hmm. So I bought every color that they had. They're only a dollar. They might have something similar on Amazon, but I really like these. I like the ones that have lined clips. Let me take it out so I can show you. But the clip is lined too. And what I have noticed on Amazon though, when you buy a set of them, most of the time the line part is white. It's all the same white ribbon on all of them but I like it to match the bow. So I've learned that if I buy them separately, it'll typically will match the bow all together. You wanna put it back? Can I put your bow back? Thank you. No, we can't take it out. Can mommy have a hug? Oh. Anyway, we're gonna head out. We don't know what we're doing today, but we'll take you with us. 
Okay, we're in Home Goods, and this is one of the prettiest tree skirts I think I've ever seen. Now, I don't, I'm not doing green. I did green last year, and if y'all want to go see my Christmas tour from last year, you can look that up. But I'm not doing green this year. But if I was, I would hands down get this tree skirt. I wanted to show it to y'all because somebody needs to go to Home Goods and get it. It has little tassels on it. It's how much? 30 bucks. It's yeah, not bad. It is huge. It. And it's got button closure. It is just, it is nice. And it that has, would stay together a whole lot better than the Velcro. Yeah. It looks really good, y'all. They got a bunch. They even have a red one like this. I don't know if it had the tassels, uh -huh. but it was. Did it have tassels? So. But it was really like that Christmas bright and red. Said it looked like a, um, a poncho. Honey, it looks like a poncho that you can wear. <laughs> she knows. But yeah, super nice. Yeah. They got so many tree skirts. Oh, them's for the bed. I feel like I need some. I'm looking. See what you've done and started, Sharon. Okay, just stand it up, but we can see it. Later. Yeah. My goodness. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Whoa, Nelly! I didn't get a chance to end the vlog, so I wanted to end it with a little bit of Mila walking. I knew by this weekend, I kept saying all week last week, I was like, by this weekend, she'll be walking because she was getting more and more confident with every stand up. That was what was holding her back she wasn't like just standing up off the floor um but i knew i knew by this weekend she would and y'all she has walked so much over the weekend so i wanted to get a little bit of that now she's in here into all the things but um i hope y'all enjoyed this random like collage of things vlog we will see you next time and i'll make sure to include for those of you that asked from instagram the um treatment i did on my hair this weekend so yes i love y'all hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day and we will see you in the next one bye